Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Long time no see, not even gonna get into that. But in today's video, I'm gonna be walking through the entire process and how to clean a beta fish tank. Now, this method can be applied to any fish tank, but I'm gonna specifically show how to clean a small tank or a beta fish tank. Okay, so I got the aquarium right here now. Now, let's just get right to the point. I'm not trying to waste anyone's time. So, obviously, first things first, you're gonna need to know what you need to clean your aquarium now. Very simple items. You should probably already have these. The first step is there's going to be algae on the glass. Duh. Now, I would highly recommend one of these. It's a magnet cleaner. One end goes inside the tank, the scrubby end, then the magnet one goes on the outside. As you move the outside one, the inside one follows it along and cleans the algae from the inside without you getting your hands wet. Wow. Now, not everyone has one of these. This was like $2 on Amazon, so just buy one. Literally just buy them. They're so cheap. But if you don't have one and you need to get by, you can honestly just use paper towels. Like it's not that big of a deal. You can really use anything. Just make sure you don't use soap or anything like that. Anything to scrub off the algae should work fine. Next up, you're gonna have to have a way to get the water out of the aquarium. Now, most people think, okay, what I'm gonna do is take the fish out, you know, rinse the whole thing in the sink. That's thousand percent wrong. You know that's wrong. I'm gonna show you how to do it the correct way. What you're gonna need is some sort of hose or siphon right here. This is a gravel vacuum. You suck on one end and it drains water into a bucket. Then you take this bigger end and put it in the gravel and it sucks all the dirt out of the rocks. Very clean, very effective. If you don't have one of these, you can just use like a red solo cup and slowly empty the water out, stir up the gravel by hand and then just empty the water out. I'd highly recommend getting a gravel vacuum if you have a tank that's like bigger than like two gallons, this is good. If you have a tank that's too small, these vacuums don't always work the best. And then you're just gonna need something to put the dirty water in and the same thing you can use to dump clean water back into the tank, very simple. Last but not least, another very crucial element is water conditioner. Your tap water is most likely not safe for your fish. What you're gonna have to do is put some of this in. It is just water dechlorinator. It takes the bad stuff out of tap water. It makes it fish safe. Very simple, you can't do a water change without it. Now here is the aquarium I'm gonna be cleaning today. We have a nice oil slick on the top. That's just from uh, my filter. It actually has a sponge over it so it doesn't uh, create too much turbulence in the water which can uh, annoy the fish. So that's why there's some oil slick. It's no big deal at all. But as you can see, we have quite a little bit of algae right there on the glass. We gotta scrub that off. The fish is thriving. Fish does not care. And then I also have some issues with the plants. I need to remove some of the dead leaves and replant that plant right there. So first things first, what I like to do is take the light, move it out of the way just so we have working area, but it also still provides light so we can see what we're doing. Next, you wanna unplug your filter and then you can go ahead and clean the filter. We'll clean that separate. First, let's start with draining the water. So if you have a red solo cup or something like that, all you need to do is kind of mix up the gravel with your hands, start scooping out water. Obviously the best method is this vacuum right here. Super easy, stick this in here and start a siphon. Once a siphon is started, you can literally vacuum the rocks. As you can see, it's sucking all the stuff out. Now the key here is to not take out the decor. So basically like this stuff, like here, like these rocks, you can move them, there's a little shrimp back there. You can move them with no issues, but just be careful while you're vacuuming. Obviously don't suck up your fish. But what you're gonna do here is just drain most of the water, not a crazy amount, probably just about halfway. And while you're draining that water, you're obviously cleaning the aquarium's gravel. There's no need to remove decor actually out of the aquarium and physically clean it, so uh, don't do that. I'll explain why in a minute why that's bad, but for now, I'm just gonna drain this water. Okay, so I got the aquarium drained right here. As you can see. Now, what I like to do from here is start scrubbing the algae and then we can kind of rearrange the tank. Now, the reason you don't want to remove stuff like your plants and your rocks is because on those things is beneficial bacteria and that bacteria is basically what keeps the ecosystem alive. By rinsing that stuff out in tap water, you kill off the bacteria, which essentially avoids your tank of life which is ultimately really bad for the fish. It could cause the fish to get ammonia poisoning because that bacteria breaks down fish poop, basically. That's a quick rundown of it. So you never wanna rinse that stuff in tap water. Now, a good beta tank will have a filtration system. As you can see, this is my filtration system. The stuff you see on top is plants, so it's nothing to worry about, but this is a filter sponge right here. Now, so every month or so, what I would do is take your sponges out and rinse them in aquarium water. Get a cup of your dirty water, the water you just sucked out, and rinse off your filter pads. That will keep the bacteria alive but allow you to rinse out all the dirty stuff and you only have to do that about once a month. Now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is come in here, fix these rocks, get everything looking nice and normal again, replant this plant, and then scrub down the algae. Now I'm just gonna take the little scrubber and scrub down the glass. As you can see, the part on the inside is cleaning the glass and this will get all the algae off. 
And just like that, the aquarium is algae free, the plants are back in place, and we're all good to go. Now all we have to do is basically get new water in there. Very easy. Now obviously the next most important part is getting the water. It's probably loud because the water is going, but make sure the water is the same temperature as the water in the fish tank. Make sure. We may have spilled a bit in the process, but that is not what matters. We have our new fresh water. We're gonna take our tap water conditioner, follow the directions right here, and make sure you add the right amount. Just like that, our water is now ready to go into the tank. I'd recommend pouring it slowly like this so you don't like mess up the gravel on the bottom, but also try not to spill it like I do. Just like that, the aquarium is clean, plug the filter back in, and this should clear up in about 30 minutes to an hour. So that is the quickest, easiest rundown I can give on how to clean a betta fish aquarium. You can honestly apply this method to any aquarium. Remember, when you're cleaning a tank, you're doing a water change. You're taking out some of the water, putting new water in. You're not rinsing crazy stuff. You're not deep cleaning. You obviously can deep clean every once in a while, but you don't want to do it on a regular basis because it's really bad for the beneficial bacteria colony that you actually want in your aquarium. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions regarding how to take care of a betta fish or, you know, more tank maintenance, let me know down in the comments below. I feel like pretty much anyone, if they follow these steps, can have success with keeping a fish. It's a very simple process. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and good bye.